morning. Jay Nicholas and Chris Dodgers at the Caddisfly. Doing egg patterns for a bit here. Steelhead love to eat them. So do cutthroat trout. So do rainbow. I uh, have a little bit of Arctic fox tail fur there we have to take care of. I call this the bee, the best egg ever. And I call it that because doggone it, it's really hard to do better than this egg. Maybe because it's small. Uh, steelhead will take really small eggs. I'm gonna and and, and the colors. It, it's it's small. This is a 2457 size 10, which is a pretty small fly. It's a uh, 5 30 seconds bead. I actually got the too far back. This is again small fly. Now Great Lakes steelhead anglers use smaller flies than these. Uh, so is this only small by West Coast standards? Could be a trailing egg on a Could bigger fly. Could be exactly fish a stone fly nymph with this as a trailer, and very often the fish will they'll move towards the stone fly, but they'll take this little bitty egg and this hook. It's only size ten. You know, you think of that as being a trout size hook, but. Works very, very well for steelhead. Now I've got some large fluorescent shrimp pink and some medium. For this fly, we want the medium. We're going to start this chenille at the front end of the hook and we're going to move to the back. And in theory, you you can do you know three wraps on the base, and then top by two wraps, and then top by one wrap on top. Sometimes it works out that nicely. Sometimes the idea is to make a nice little egg shape there. This shrimp pink and orange is just one heck of a color combination, and I did put a little bit of uh, crystal flash in that orange Arctic fox tail. And now I'm going to have a little bit of egg veil here, and I'm actually going to use some white egg veil. Hairline makes milky egg veil. They also have white egg yarn. And just as with the other egg flies we do, I like to a little bit of a trick. I like to fold my veil around the thread and that helps distribute it around the egg. I'm using a red Lagerton thread here. I want to put enough thread wraps in that groove so that that egg veil stays on there. Sometimes you can find yourself wrap, 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 and then you'll finally feel like you have enough. Sometimes you only take eight, three or four turns. Egg veil is nice. Hang on. So we got the best egg ever, and we are trimming that egg veil just a little bit. And we're gonna we're gonna comb it, just comb that veil just a little bit. Again, I think one of the reasons this egg is so effective is its small size, size ten. There you go, best egg ever.